Okay, Jeff, we're just going to start that task now. The King's BSc in Neuroscience and Psychology is a brand new three-year degree, the aim of which is to train students in neuroscience and psychology in a way that cuts across traditional disciplinary boundaries. I think we've come to realise that we cannot really make progress and understand any important question from the confines of a single discipline. And to do that, we need to combine knowledge not only from psychology, but also from neuroscience, from engineering, from genetics, from single cells, all the way up to cultural processes. So when the students come to this department, they will learn not just the fundamentals of psychology and its application in the clinic, but that bridge between the two, we're really doing the research to understand why is the neurotransmitter different in depression? Why is the wiring different in autism? Why is the deterioration in the brain in Alzheimer's? You will get that quantitative aspect that may be missing in some degrees. In my lab, for example, we study neuropsychiatric and um, neurological disorders. So we have a study at the moment looking at Alzheimer's disease and patients. We're trying to understand which particular connections in the brain go awry early on in the disorder and how that relates to memory problems and memory disturbances. What we're trying to do in this course and what many of us try and do in our research is try and bridge from uh, the biological signalling up to the behaviour. My research group studies the effects of drugs on the brain, recreational drugs, existing drugs we use in psychiatry and novel compounds that might be useful in the future. A strong grounding in neuroscience is really important from the genes through development through uh, brain function that you might measure with EEG or fMRI through to the output of behaviour. And by sticking it all together, you can get a really detailed picture of how we behave and think the way we do. My research looks at the ageing brain. My main research technique is to use uh, neuroimaging, specifically magnetic resonance imaging. And I tend to work with big data sets that have been collected. Um, usually by other institutes or even publicly. So this is a really exciting time for big data in the context of neuroscience because now we have access to thousands, tens of thousands, possibly even hundreds of thousands of MRI scans uh, that we've never had access to before and that allows us to do neuroimaging at a much, much bigger scale. One of the nice things about the programmes here at King's, and that includes the new neuroscience and psychology option, is that we can uh, use King's global outreach to offer students the opportunity to add a year of overseas study to that programme. And we also have opportunities for students to take part in placement years. And because of our links into the NHS through the King's Health Partnership, which includes many of the South London NHS Trusts, we have a huge range of opportunities for our students. So some of the topics in years one and two will be exactly the same as those that students in the psychology BSc study. And these are the kind of core courses in psychology that will allow students to get eligibility for registration with the British Psychological Society. We want to give students the opportunity to get hands-on experience as early as possible in the course. In the second year of the course, for example, students will have access to state-of-the-art laboratories where they can record the electrical activity from healthy human volunteers and students will gain experience not only in collecting data but also in analysing and working with this kind of data sets. And in the third year, students will have the opportunity to do their research projects either by teaming up with one of the existing research teams and they can use a variety of equipment from functional magnetic resonance imaging scanners like the one that you can see here. We can use eye tracking equipment, we can use electroencephalography to record brain activity just as it happens. The people teaching their courses will be those people running these studies. So, of course, they will bring in the teaching their experience and their knowledge on these particular fields. This course will be a great foundation for a wide range of careers. Students could work in pharmaceutical industries or in drug development. Students could work in biotechnology or bioinformatics. Students would have the skills that would enable them to work with big data, for example, which is very popular. This is a, a good career bet because the course in your science and psychology uh, is going to set you up for these year 2030 jobs which will have to combine how the brain works with the modern psychology and our um, environment around us. So if you really want to understand how the mind and the brain work together both in health and in disease then this is the course to do. <laughs>